Hey everybody, it's Caitlin. Um, I'm going to do a little video today um, and I'm going to talk about my skin. Um, you, so you guys know I did a video about the Neutrogena step kind of face stuff. Um, and I don't know, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it works like that well. Like I don't think it really does what it says it's going to do because I still have acne and I don't have any makeup on today. Um, I'm not I have eye makeup on, but I don't have any foundation on. Um, and you can see I have acne still. So I followed it for at least a month, and it was kind of okay. Some like some of it went away, but not all of it. Um, so uh, also, and then I started kind of being lazy, not doing all the steps like consistently which maybe is another problem but um, I'm gonna talk about something I'm gonna try now and if it works out I'll update you guys and tell you guys if it's working and stuff like that basically um, I was looking at YouTube videos about this and I came across um, uh, the the other YouTuber, his name is Goss Makeup Artist, and I'll put a link to his channel because he's really good, and I have I've been subscribed to him for a while. But um, he has a video that talks about how he got rid of his acne, and it's really simple. And I have all the stuff already, so I'm gonna show tell you guys what it is, and um, if it works, I'm going to show you if it works. Um, I'm starting today, so Sunday, April 1st, and yeah, so we'll see what happens. And basically what it is, is you use um, some kind of cleanser, face cleanser, and mine is Cetaphil, which everyone knows what that looks like, so I'm not going to take it out of my shower to show you. It's really, everyone knows it. If you don't, just look it up. <laughs> and then the next thing is some kind of um, benzoyl peroxide, whatever you can find. Mine came with a Neutrogena face washing kit, so I already have one. But um, yeah, you can find them just on their own too. So this is mine, but it came with it. So you can find them um, in other brands and stuff also. So anyway, that. And then basically just doing it twice a day. And so what he said, and other people have said too, is in the morning, wash your face with the cleanser, and then put a bunch of this benzoyl peroxide all over the problem areas. Not just little dabs, he says put a lot. And obviously it dries out your skin because that's just what it does. It dries out the stuff that's bad and everything like that. So. He suggests to put a really good moisturizer on, one that has SPF, because your skin is going to be very um, prone to like getting sunburned even, because it's basically taking off some of the bad dead skin, basically. So you want to have a really good SPF and moisturizer in one. So the one I'm using, and I've been using this for a while, is this Aveeno one, and it has SPF 30. So it's Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer. So this is the one I'm using. And it's very creamy and it, it feels really good. Like I have the benzoyl peroxide on, but after I let it soak in for a while, I put this on top of it. So it still feels moisturized, but I'm it's, you know, kind of sealing in the, the medicine stuff. So yeah, that's basically it, and you do that twice a day is what he said, and um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Also, I can't go, I mean, today I'm not wearing any foundation, but I really don't really like showing all my problems, like, all the time, so I bought, I know I just did a foundation video, but I like to, to try other foundations also, so I'm going to try this one which is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup. So I've also seen other reviews on this and people really think that it works and it's helped their skin. 
because it has salicylic acid in it, which is in, you know, other face washes and everything. So it's a blemish treatment. So it, on the side it says, won't clog pores, hypoallergenic, controls shine with natural looking coverage, rapidly cuts through oil for fast acne relief. So I'm hoping that this, in combination with um, my new routine, will help my, ac my acne. Because honestly, I feel like this started in the summer, and before that I never had skin problems. My skin was so normal, and nice, and perfect, and now it's just weird, and I really haven't done anything that different. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe it is the makeup, I don't know. So I'm not using it anymore. I do like that makeup, I love the Photo Ready foundation, as I showed in the video. But maybe it's not good for my skin. But that doesn't mean it's bad for other people's skin, so don't just forget about my video and I, I mean I still think it's a good foundation so whatever works for you if it doesn't break you out then you should use it but I'm gonna try this one and see how it goes and I will update it you guys and tell you how it works for me if it's been working stuff like that um, also I think that it's really important to have everything really clean and not have any bacteria when you're dealing with this so I've been using these sponges anyway, but um, I bought an another pack, sorry, I can't talk today. I bought another pack because I just want to use one every day. I want them to be disposable. I don't want any gross bacteria forming in the sponges because this is the one that I use and I do wash it every day. I wash it in hot soapy water and I get as much of the makeup off as I can. But I'm pretty sure there's probably a little bit of stuff left over, and that's probably not good for my skin. So, I'm going to just use one a day and throw it away. I don't even care. I mean, these are only $2.79, and you get a lot, so it's worth it, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah, you should make, you know, try and make things more clean for your skin and everything, if you're having a problem. I mean, if you're not having a problem, whatever. Do what works for you but I'm gonna try this and see how it goes and if it works I'll tell you um, the guy Goss makeup artist um, he said that you know it worked for him almost within a week so maybe in a week next Sunday I'll tell you guys if it worked um, yeah because I don't know it's really weird I've tried so many things I did the whole Neutrogena kit thing, and I don't know if it really worked, so we'll see how this goes. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, behind me I have a new vanity, um, which my sister got me for my birthday, so I'll show you guys that also because it's really cute. And you're gonna see my uh, laptop in the mirror, just so you know. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, the vanity. It's really cute. It has these picture frame things on the side. So maybe I'll do another video like showing more in depth like the stuff I have in there and everything. So yeah. So that's it. I'm just telling you guys what um, my next step is going to be for my skin routine and what I'm going to try and do. And hopefully it will work. So wish me luck. And by the way, the Neutrogena one I got is in Classic Ivory 10. I'm pretty sure this is my color. This is like the lightest one, but actually there's two really light ones, but one is really pink and this one's more like a um, yellowy undertone, I guess. So I'm hoping it will match my skin. So yeah, and again, if, I mean, don't ignore the fact that I really love Photo Ready Foundation because it's really good. I really like it and I wish I could wear it. Um, but it might be that it's hurting my skin. I don't know. I even stopped using my Laura Mercier makeup because it's just too heavy sometimes. And I don't know. So I'll see if this in combination with the whole thing works. And I'll let you guys know as I've just repeated like 50 times. And yeah, so that's it. And I'll get back to you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.